Hello, everyone. Uh, this presentation is about GNU, the token for GNU PG and the GNU PG. Uh, the title is GNU plus GNU PG explained for Debian developers and users. Uh, last year, we did a similar presentation in Montreal, but it uh, the demonstration was at the end, at the end. And I realized that uh, when people watching the video later, they just watch the first part. So, so this time I, I do the demonstration at the first part. So uh, here is uh, some contents. So uh, this figure uh, explains about the uh, GNU PG component. The, we have multiple uh, process, processes, GPG, GPG agent, SG demo, and pin entry. When user asks GPG for signature generation, all those pin entry GPG, GPG agent, and SG demo works together, work together. And today, I, our family demonstration, demonstrate how those processes interact. And here is, I miss them. So please come, my family and Yabuki-san. Yabuki-san represent a uh, GPG user because he daily uses GPG as a Debian developer. They, they, they come there. And uh, she, she represents GPG. Her name is Ayumi. She is my daughter. He, she represents GPG. Uh, it is a GPG front end. And uh, he, she manage public key operations. And the uh, most important thing is that GPG agent. And uh, she is the mother, uh, her name is Hitoe, and uh, she handle, handles private, private key operations. And then, he, this time he is very much important. Uh, he is SC demon, SC stand, stands for smart card, and uh, he, acts, he controls the access to the token and the, or card. This time, this represent GNU token. This metal box, yes. And the, actually, we have another things that is pin entry. Today, this dumper baby uh, represent pin entry. Yes, let's see. So suppose a user have a file. And uh, he, he asked GPG to generate signature of, the, of this file. So the Yabuki-san asks her, uh, please make signature. Then uh, she said, yes, yes, sir. Then she generate hash of the file. And actually, it's a, uh, uh, it's the chopsticks holder. <laughs> yesterday, uh, in Japanese we say hash hashi, so it sounds like hash. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> then she asked GPG agent. Uh, this represent uh, pipe or socket. <laughs> so. Then, uh, usually, she has a key in the file system. But in today, uh, as I represent here, usually the private key is in here or in this box. But this time, my private key is inside this token. Yes. This is uh, my private key. It's securely stored inside a GNU token. Then GPG agent forward the request to SC daemon. 
Actually, that uh, it is in Japanese now, but it is a <laughs> um, uh, special protocol between GPG agent and SC demo. <laughs> then, uh, SC demo asked passphrase for GNU token back. Show me a uh, passphrase. She asked passphrase, then pin entry spawned from GPG agent. Then P entry goes to user, pop, pop up window goes to user, and uh, he asks passphrase. Open the sesame. Yes, then he knows the passphrase back to GPG agent, and the uh, passphrase goes through GPG agent to SC daemon through socket. Then he, sh he shakes GNUK token, <laughs> then it generate signature. Then signature go back through GPG agent and GPG. And lastly, GPG gives signature to user. That's an interaction of how GPG works when user asks uh, generating a signature. Thank you for the demonstration. And thank you for my family and the other person. Yes, then I explain, oh. Um, a little bit about the uh, GNUK token. The GNUK token is a special hardware dedicated for GNU PG, and uh, its specialty is I design and implement this for users' freedom. And the uh, firmware is called GNUK. It is free software, and uh, here is the prototype of FST01. It is a reference-free hardware design. And uh, the reason why implement and uh, put my effort to GNUK token is that to control our crypto computation and uh, my purpose is to minimize the attack surface as small as possible. And uh, one of the goal is that it can be re reproduced by others, not only me. And uh, all, architect, uh, all technical documentation is available, and uh, I only use free tools like KiCad and for PCB or schematic uh, design, and I use GNU Toolchain for, for firmware, and I use OpenOCD to access the, the hardware. So I, it does, it, it does require no NDA. And uh, I try to avoid backdoor, possible backdoors. So here is my, my use case of GNUK token. Here, uh, with sing, I have a single GNUK token and uh, use it at work or at home or uh, on the go, like this opportunity. Because I, I store my private key inside this chip, I can, I can use single token by multiple computers. And uh, here is uh, something around Debian. Since Stretch, we have modern GNU PG. GPG 1.4 is now called Classic. It supports old PGP3 format, and uh, it doesn't have any new feature. And uh, now you need to install uh, GNU PG1 package for GPG1 command. And now uh, we call GNU PG 2.1 or 2.2, as modern, and uh, now 
GPG command is D1 from GPG 2.1 or 2.2. Now, as of today, the upstream version is 2.2.9, and uh, last year, 2.2 uh, was released after DevCon 17. And uh, actually, the 2.0 series uh, now reached end of life of the software last year, end of the last year. Uh, currently, we have GNU PG 2.1.18 in stretch. And uh, for Buster, we have uh, the recent one, GNU PG 2.2.9. And uh, here is a major changes in GNU PG 2.1 or 2.2. As described in user share.gnupg readme.debian. Now, the, the, uh, the major change is uh, component and the private keys format. Now, all access to secret key material is handled by GPG agent and all smart card access is handled by SC demo, and all network access is handled by directory manager. So this is a major change, and, uh, oh, sorry. and uh, we also support new algorithm uh, by GNU PG 2.1 or 2.2. And uh, now we have a modern ECC, elliptic, elliptic curve cryptography. Uh, we also support uh, classic ECC like NIST P256 or NIST P512. But uh, I recommend use of modern ECC because of those good points. Uh, 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 we have two things. One is uh, ED25519, that's for signing, and another is CARB25519 for encryption. Basically, they use the same CARB, but uh, one is for signing, another is for encryption or decryption. And the good thing is that it's quite fast for decryption or signing, and the uh, key size is small, and the signature size is small, like a 32 byte only. And uh, although it's still weak to quantum computing, but uh, it's immune to a lot of common side channel attacks. So I really recommend the use of ECC, modern ECC, because GNU token support modern ECC now. And uh, it is, as far as I know, it is only a product uh, available in the market, and uh, which is free, and, uh, and you can examine the implementation. So my proposal today is uh, let's use modern ECC with GNU token uh, using GNU PG. And uh, you may already know that OpenSSH also support ED2515. So uh, you can use uh, OpenSSH with ED2519 keys using GNU, 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 uh, GPG to agent and, and GNU token. And here we have a, I think that typically we have a two use cases, conservative or uh, more uh, radical one. The conservative use is keep using RSA master key, your uh, current one, and uh, adding authentication subkey by ED2519 for SSH. And this is a, a, a good approach for Debian developers because you still have a web of trust using the old RSA key. So you can then, optionally, you can add the signing subkey by ED2519, or optionally, you can add encryption subkey 
by curve 255.19. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, or if you want to have uh, another key, then you, un up the, this is the approach of two set of keys. Uh, keep using traditional RS keys as well as uh, creating new modern ECC keys, um, master key, signing key, encryption subkey, and authentication subkey, totally new one, having uh, two different keys. Well, that's an explanation of, of GNU token and GNU PG. Oh, sorry. So, are there any questions? Well, please feel free to have a questions. And uh, lastly, I, I actually bring uh, FST01 with GNU. Yes. Uh, so sorry, I'm I'm yes. I'm an amateur in cryptography. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned many side channel attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, could you uh, give some uh, typical examples of that? Uh, typical example is that using the 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 noise, uh, radio wave noise uh, detection. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, including GNU PG's implementation, uh, the typical RSA implementation is uses many optimization techniques, and uh, it depends on the private key bits. Ma some implementation is not written in constant time, and uh, it depends. Uh, Computation depends on the each bit of the private key keys, and the typical side channel attack is using the the observation of the uh, observation of the uh, uh, radio emission from the computer, then doing some uh, signal processing to guess. The pr your private key. Uh, we have a, such a typical side channel attack for RSA. Uh, on the other hand, for ED25519 ED or CARB25519, uh, the implementa implementation, uh, typical implementation, typical implementation is designed to constant time. So such an observation uh, doesn't leak any private key information. Yes, and there are more side channel attacks, uh, like observing the the timing, timing of the uh, signing by different hash hashes, like that. Yes. Um. Since now, I, as far as I know, the open uh, PGP is support only in six digit or eight digit passwords. Uh, uh, are there any uh, longer passwords that we can use? Or uh, no, the, the, that's, a, I think, a confusion. Uh, open PGP support a longer password. Or open PG, do you mean the open PGP card? Or? Yes, open PGP card. Uh, it, it, it depends. Uh, we can extend uh, any longer. The actually GNU support uh, 256 input. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I have a question mm -hmm. about uh, the side side chain attack. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me more precisely? Is mm -hmm. the time attack or or, or like power attack, such like that. Mm -hmm. You know, the time attack can be used to uh, from the, from the internet, and uh, something like the power attack or the radiation attack must uh, mm -hmm. must have a physical devices near you. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. So that's different story. Yes. So I want to know precisely which kind of the sorry attack and RSA have. Um, the, yes, the, for the radiation attack, you, yes, you are right. We need uh, 
observation uh, device or something near the uh, device. So and the uh, another thing attack is can do remotely. So, uh, uh, it is not uh, about the G GNU PG, but uh, suppose that you have a TLS server, uh, server, web server by TLS. So the time attack is used f uh, is used against the t uh, the OpenSSL something like that TLS server. Yes. And the radiation attack is used for something like a smart card or something like that. Or uh, the the another process on the same machine can guess. Uh, yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you know which Debian infrastructure already supports uh, elastic curve cryptography? Because I uh, guess uh, we know uh, we since use storage. As I know, mm. I mean, I use my uh, key for uh, SSH mm -hmm. into Debian machines, mm -hmm. signing packages, and so on. So, do you know if we already can use ECC to sign packages and it gets accepted or, or not? Yet? Um, ah, you mean the, the as a Debian developer? Yeah. No, not yet. Ah, he, he answers. <laughs> uh, so uh, th this has actually come up um, a few times. The, the intention is that you should be able to use an ECC key for all of the appropriate things in Debian now that we have GPG 2.1 in um, stable release. Um, I wouldn't swear to it. I'm pretty sure that we had people test in the last DPL election that we could vote using it. Um, I think the DSA have updated so that things like interacting with um, LDAP and db.debian.org will work. Um, uploads do work as, I, as far as I understand that uh, there may be wrinkles that don't work, but if they don't work, then you should raise it with the appropriate team and, and it should get fixed. So it's, we have, I think, one developer who now has an ECC master key, so they are purely ECC in the key ring. Um, so that's where we're at with that. Hmm. Thank you for the explanation. Yes, sure. Uh, the you you, uh, you showed the GNU uh, token as a picture, but uh, it looks like it's not so robust. <laughs> you mean this yeah, prototype yeah. version? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, and these days I use the YubiKey, but uh, it somehow uh, ah, I, I, I can yeah, trust yeah. the other hardware. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not so hard. <laughs> Usually I I use a uh, transparent tube for mm. to cover this board. Mm? Uh, it, my message is. This is transparent <laughs> to users. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, there is uh, any implementation uh, implementation uh -huh. of the yeah, yeah. or the product? Yeah, product yes. of the kind of the yes. this GNU token. Actually, in Germany, Nitrokey sells yeah. sells uh, uh, variation of SSD one. Uh, yes. It, 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 uh, it's more. It, it's more better. Huh? <laughs> Looks better. That does does it support the ECC also? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. And uh, how much is it? The, and I the don't know uh, exact number. But you, you can search Nitro key start. Yeah. And uh, a, you you bring you said that you bring the uh, today. Token today. Today uh, only it, two is uh, remained. Uh, eight eight hundred eighty. And eight hundred eighty. NTD. NTD. Oh. And uh, it is always available from Free Software Foundation, mm -hmm. the, 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 sub the, the, the FSD01. But yeah. uh, it is, uh, the firmware is different. Uh, mm -hmm. Firmware is a random number generator mm -hmm. to avoid the problem of the export control. And the, the newest the firmware. Uh, can we get the from the website or something? yes yes uh, the from the my website mm. or uh, it is all also available on salsa.debian.org ah yes that's nice yes. thanks sorry currently i'm running out of time yes, yes.
So actually, that's kind of the point I wanted to make. I, I really like the GNUC. I think it's a great idea. I think it's the best option we have. It's not robust enough. Uh -huh. um, I had a conversation with uh, BDL Garvey and Keith mm -hmm. Mackard, mm -hmm. who seemed to think that there were people you could talk to who would know about how to put a case around it that would mm -hmm. then make mm -hmm. it a more robust mm -hmm. thing. So, so mm -hmm. um, I'd love to say I have the time to do this. I don't have the hardware mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see mm -hmm. a robust version of this. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see a version mm -hmm. that I could leave on my key ring mm -hmm. and not have to worry mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you have any time, I would recommend going and talking to some people yes, and seeing if you can yes. make that happen. Because ECC, YubiKey doesn't support it. Yes, free software, yes. mm, yeah. it's all great. But just Thank a you. bit more robust. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestion. Uh, the, so uh, please feel free to ask me. And uh, I will I'm going to finish this talk. Say happy hacking. Thank you.